stop producing super boring content. Let's talk about some rumors in the fintech world. I'm Nadira Sadikova, and uh, this is uh, what is most interesting podcast series. And I'm going to bring you the freshest insights and rumors from the world of fintech. Let's get started. Our first rumor involves Stripe, the online processing giant. There is a speculation that Stripe is gearing up for an initial public offering in 2024. The company has been quietly bolstering its financials and expanding its product offerings, which could set the stage for one of the most anticipated take tech IPOs in recent years. Investors and analysts are keeping a close eye on any official announcements from the company. Next up, guess that there's some whispers that PayPal is considering a major acquisition to boost in uh, its presence in the cryptocurrency space for all of the M&A dealers. Go and just like knock on the door of the PayPal and uh, share your deal flow. The fintech giant is reportedly eyeing several crypto-focused startups, including wallet providers and crypto trading platforms, to integrate these services into its ecosystem. This move could further solidify PayPal's position as a leader in digital payments. In other news, Revolut. So has recently uh, received their banking license. The UK-based new bank is rumored to be exploring expansion into Latin America. The company has seen significant success in Europe and now is looking to tap into emerging markets where digital banking adoption is rapidly increasing. A report suggests that Revolut is in talks with local banks and regulators to facilitate its entry into countries like Brazil and Mexico. And also one of the news uh, that's going to really soon. Uh, so uh, soon you can you can buy a cryptocurrency directly from a Revolut app, uh, meaning that they are actually creating a competition for uh, Coinbase and Robinhood. Uh, also, this is one of the ways of uh, retaining their customer base and increasing them. Okay, so what is next? Okay, Robinhood. So I just like mentioned about Robinhood. Let me talk about Robinhood. It's rumored to be developing a new feature that allows users to invest in tokenized assets. So this feature would enable uh, just, you know, fractional ownership of assets as real estate, fine art, democratizing uh, access to investment opportunities traditionally reserved for high net worth individuals. If these rumors are true, it could make a significant shift in how everyday investors diversify their portfolios. Lastly, there is a buzz around Square's potential uh, rebranding uh, to better align with its broader mission of financial inclusivity and crypto integration. Insiders suggest that this move might involve a new name and a strategic pivot uh, towards expanding its services in developing regions, focusing on underserved communities. That wraps up our fintech room around that for today. This development highlight the dynamic and rapidly evolving nature of the fintech industry. Stay tuned with Financial IT uh, for what is most interesting in podcast for more updates and insights. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and share it with your network. Until next time, Nadira Sadikova signing off.